this is that uh, there's an earlier video I was real impressed with the uh, kill that I got on this little small patch here um, they're late planted I put 50 pounds of 5-5-30 fertilizer on this uh, little field right here and I don't see a lot of difference in them and the other beans right here this little spot here didn't get any fertilizer and this might be two inches taller well we'll find out when we harvest if there's more beans in it that last number the 30 is supposed to be what makes beans but there's still enough growing time left this morning glory that came back right down here it'll climb all up in here if I don't kill it so we're going to knock it out don't take long to do stuff like this I have in the past just stayed on the ATV and rode down the uh, side of the field and sprayed it that way but trying to, to get some more experience with these glasses and see what I'm actually pointing at Got out here and mowed this. This had gotten away from me. It was about waist high. And I got out here and mowed it yesterday morning, and I don't like it. It's nappy looking. And the grass gets so tall that I'll have to wait and let the clippings dry and then mow it again to get it looking like I want it to look. Yeah. I see a lot of flowers on this, but saw a lot of flowers in the uh, beans I was in yesterday, and I didn't put any fertilizer on them. I don't know, I still got mixed emotions about putting fertilizer on beans. Some people have said it, a little bit of nitrogen real early in the season gives the beans a little jump start deer got in that last night or one night see the tips knocked off and of course they're clumsy animals they always got to break something there's one they've stepped on and broke but a lot of flowers I admit, that might be the benefit I mean there's flowers all the way up on the top of these a lot of flowers Hmm. That fertilizer was thirteen dollars for that bag. A little bit more right over here. Yeah, with the group seven beans, the morning glory is not really that big of an issue. Frost will kill it but i don't know it's just something about having a clean pretty feel like that that a lot more fun to look at not to mention the fact if i kill this stuff before it has a chance to make seed eventually it i can get the farm cleaned back up see what this side's pretty clean There's a little bit down here in this corner will knock out
circle part. That's aggravating stuff. Ooh, fire ants. Stay out of those. Yeah, I love it out here in the early morning. Peaceful, quiet. Just the insect noise. Probably got enough time this morning to finish the mowing I started yesterday. Let's go ahead and go down this side. Yeah, that is a big difference now that I get right over here. I don't see as near as many flowers up on the tops of these plants over here where I did not put the fertilizer. I mean, back over there, there's, I've, there's flowers way up at the top of the plant. I have to go back over there and part plants and look down in there. Let's knock this mess out. Cockleberry. Still a little bit of that here on this farm. That's cockleberry right there. I've seen truckloads of beans go in the mill, have almost as much cockleberry in them. All right, big old fire ant mound right there. I have to come over here and spray that with. The ant killer. I'll leave it alone for now since I don't have any ant killer and glyphosate won't affect them. Yeah, I still I see a lot of flowers on this, but nowhere near as developed as the flowers are over there on that. Another fire ant mound. Yeah, we definitely got to play Fire Ant Ninja. <laughs> Fire Ant Ninja. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And another one right there. Right there. But that's not such a bad job now that I figured out. I can mix up. I got a 15 gallon tank I can pull behind the. Uh, now pull it better behind the lawnmower. It's easier to connect to the battery and I've got a wand that I can connect to it and disconnect the boom sprayer and just come out here and ride right up there and drown them kill them get rid of those things sickle pod and the deer munching on the corner that's interesting that plant right there I'll have to come back and watch that. See the flowers up the up the stalk right there. And then the deer have chewed off the leaves. So that'll be an interesting plant to show uh, about you lose all your leaves to whatever. Can you still make a bean? So I know I'm right here on the end corner of this field. I'll come back and look at that and see what happens. Write something down about it in my journal for this year. Mm, there's some over in there. And for the most part, yeah, it's wet. That ground right there is just saturated. Rain, rain, rain this year. I sure hope the rain 
gets out of here come harvest time and I'm not out here slugging it out through the mud and having to sell wet beans and get docked. And I hate it when that happens. Interesting. Maybe fertilizer didn't, was a good thing. Cause I'm looking up through here and these and those were planted in the same 30 minutes. In fact, I took the planter, went up that way and circled around and came back through here. There's one, two, three, four passes. And that was so wet over there I couldn't get in it when I was planting all this. And you know, the fertilizer did make some difference because as I'm looking through here, I still see a lot of new growth in the top of the plant, so these are coming on. But I don't see near the amount of flowers in the tops. Let's walk back over here. Look at that again. Yeah, this flowers like, look right there. There are flowers right up here in the top. So, that fertilizer is showing itself as a benefit. Hmm. May want to consider fertilizer on a larger acreage next year than just this little test plot. That's why I like to do little small tests and see, you know, it's still See, again, right up here on the, on the top. Yeah, I don't recall seeing flowers that far up a plant before. Let's see this. Yeah, and they're all down in the bottom there too. Ooh, there'll be a lot of beans on that. Okay, well, 13 dollars a bag, and that little spot is about a tenth of an acre. Of course, that would be real heavy application I did right here. I'm gonna have to talk to the seed man and see what he really recommends to an acre of that stuff because. Uh, I mean, that's flowers right in the top of the plant. I have never seen them up that high before. Okay, I'm going to call it a benefit. Now we just have to figure out how much to actually put on there. Because I've got, I'm pretty sure I was way heavy handed on this. Did a deer go over in there? Yeah, sure did. Stupid deer, so aggravating.